But since these investigations have now come to an end, this is my first opportunity to set out some of the context and to explain both my understanding of what happened and also to explain what I have previously said uh, to this House. And it's, it's important to set out uh, that over a period of about 600 days, gatherings on a total of eight dates have been found to be in breach of the regulations in a building that is 5,300 metres square across five floors, excluding the flats. Mr Speaker, I, I do think it is, impossible, it is important because this is the first time I've had, the chance I've had to set out the context. Hundreds of staff are entitled to work, and in the Cabinet Office, uh, which has thousands of officials and now is the biggest it's been in any point in its 100-year history. And that is in itself one of the reasons why the Government is look, now looking for change and reform. <laughs> Mr Speaker, those staff working in Downing Street were permitted to continue attending their office for the purpose of work, and the exemption under the regulations applied to their work because of the nature of their jobs reporting directly to the Prime Minister. These people were working extremely long hours, doing their best to give this country the ability to fight the pandemic. The exemption under which they were present uh, in Downing Street uh, includes those circumstances where officials and advisers were leaving the government, and uh, it was uh, appropriate to recognise them, to thank them for the work that they have done. Uh, let, me, let me come to that, Mr Speaker. I briefly attended such gatherings to thank them for their service, which I believe is one of the essential duties of leadership and particularly important, and particularly important when people need to feel that their contributions have been appreciated and to keep morale as high as possible. I am trying to explain the reasons I was there, Mr Speaker. And it's clear from what uh, Sue Gray has had to say that some of these gatherings then went on far longer than was necessary. And they were clearly in breach of the rules and they fell foul of the rules. I have to tell the House, because the House will need to, to know this, and again this is not to mitigate or to extenuate, I had no knowledge of those subsequent proceedings because I simply wasn't there. And I have been as surprised and disappointed as anyone else in this House as the revelations have unfolded. And frankly, Mr Speaker, I have been appalled by some of the behaviour, particularly in the treatment of the security and the cleaning staff. And I would like to apologise to those members of staff. And I expect anyone who behaved in that way to apologise to them as well. And I am happy to set on the record now that when I said I came to this House and said in all sincerity that the rules and guidance had been followed uh, at all times, it was what I believed to be true. It was certainly the case when I was present at gatherings to wish staff farewell, and the House will note that my attendance at these moments, brief as it was, has not been found to be outside the rules. But clearly this was not the case for some of those gatherings after I had left and at other gatherings when I was not even in the building. So I would like to correct, I would like to correct the record uh, to take this opportunity, not in any sense to absolve myself of responsibility, which I take and have always taken, but simply, simply to explain why I spoke as I did in this House.